Hey, Tech fans, welcome to another edition of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Kyle Tate. Tune in to RamblinRec.com each week on Monday and Thursday for a quick look around all Georgia Tech sports in five minutes or less. Georgia Tech Swim and Dive had an outstanding showing at the ACC Championship. The team broke nine school records total, six for the women's swim team and three for the men's diving team. Three of the women's swim records came in the relays, the 200 and 400 medley relays and the 200 free relay. Of the other three, Heidi Hatterberg set two of them, taking down the records in the 100 back and 200 back events, while Karen Siebner also got into the action, topping the school record in the 100 fly. In men's diving, all three school records went down, with Brandon Makinson setting new marks in the 1 meter and 3 meter dives, and Chris Kosaravi breaking the school mark for the platform event. In all, Tech finished ninth in the Women's ACC Championships, leaping Clemson in the final relay event on Saturday. And by the way, congratulations are in order for Brandon Makinson and Heidi Hatterberg. They've been named the Georgia Tech Co-Student Athletes of the Week for their outstanding, record-breaking performances this weekend. We're only halfway through the ACC Championship events at the Georgia Tech Aquatic Center. This Wednesday marks the beginning of the men's side of the event. If you haven't seen a meet in person, now is as good a time as any. Admission is free each day, and you can catch some of the best swimmers in the country doing battle. The meet begins Wednesday evening and concludes on Saturday. Men's golf is in action as we speak down at the Puerto Rico Classic. The Jackets take a lead into today's Round 2 action. James White and Richard Wierenski each shot three under par 69s yesterday to pace the Jackets, who had all five players shooting under par. John Tyler Griffin and Kyle Scott each put up two under par scores of 70, while Paul Haley posted a one under par 71. The fifth-ranked Yellow Jackets will continue play today and conclude the tournament down in Puerto Rico tomorrow. Tech baseball opened its season this weekend, taking two out of three from Kent State. The Yellow Jackets won Friday night's game over the Golden Flashes by a final of 6-3, to three, while taking Saturday's game to 8-1. to one. On Sunday, the Jackets couldn't complete the sweep, falling 6-1. to one. Junior second baseman Jacob Esch was a big performer on the weekend, going 7-for-12 with four doubles, while Mark Pope and Jed Bradley also had good starts on Friday and Saturday. Pope on Friday gave up just five hits and one earned run in six and two-thirds innings, while Bradley allowed four hits and a run in five and two-thirds innings. Tech has a brief repeat, reprieve pardon me, before hitting the road to Georgia Southern. They take on the Eagles in Statesboro on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. and again on Wednesday night at 4 p.m. Listen live on WREK 91.1 FM or online at RamblinRack.com. Softball was also in action down in Miami as a part of the Fellsburg Memorial Tournament on the campus of Florida International. Tech went 2-3 and three at the tournament, opening the weekend with a 5-4 victory over Illinois and also defeating Providence on day two by a score of 7-0. The Jackets stand at 7-3 on the young season and will face Kennesaw State on the road Wednesday at 4 p.m. for their first midweek contest of the season. Tech women's basketball won their second straight game last Thursday, defeating Clemson 72-46. to The Lady Jackets were idle over the weekend and will next play a road contest against North Carolina on Thursday at 7 p.m. Men's basketball fell last night to Duke 79-57 to at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Amon Shumpert and Mo Miller led the Jackets with 13 points apiece, while Nolan Smith had 28 for the Blue Devils. The loss was Tech's sixth straight conference loss, taking the team to 3-9 and in the ACC. 15th ranked men's tennis notched another win this weekend, downing number 22 Auburn on the road 4-3. Tech won the doubles point and picked up singles wins from Kevin King, Elliot Potvin, and Juan Spear. The win was the fourth consecutive victory for the Jackets, improving to 7-1 on the spring season. Tech has some time off now, next taking the court against Florida State on March the 6th. Women's tennis was also in action, winning one of their three matches at the ITA National Indoor Championships on the campus of the University of Virginia. The 13th ranked Yellow Jackets fell to number eight Michigan and number five California, both final scores four to one. Tech bounced back on Sunday, though, defeating number 18 Washington four to two. The Jackets now stand at five and three on the season and open ACC play on Saturday against Florida State at the Bill Moore Tennis Center. That's all for now, but join us next time on This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. For more information or for tickets to any Georgia Tech event, you know you can always visit the official website of the Yellow Jackets, www.ramblinrec.com. Until next time, I'm Kyle Tate, your host for This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics.